Hey there, CPO here, and we have a solar eclipse viewing station set up right here in our yard. Let me show you what we have going on here. Uh, I've got an eight inch Dobsonian telescope and a uh, piece of foam board from the local dollar store. And uh, we're using a projection method. So the sun is coming in through the top of the telescope, bouncing around a couple mirrors, coming out this viewfinder, shooting onto that board, and it's moving fast. Let me move that. There we go. And uh, I don't know if you can see that well or not, but you can actually see the sunspots on the sun right now. So we're expecting the eclipse to happen in a few minutes. We're gonna start to see some of that, in which case you'll see that reflected uh, on this board. So till then, we're just kind of getting everything ready to go, but that's pretty awesome that we can actually see this right now in our yard without blinding ourselves. So thank you, science. Of course, now that I get everything set up, all the clouds are out, so uh, we're waiting for the clouds to go away. It should be starting any minute now, though. We're really close. So I wanted to go over a little bit more detail this setup I have. So it's just an 8-inch uh, Dobsonian, which means, now I can look through here because the sun's not out, um, there's a mirror down at the bottom, which reflects back to this mirror up here at the top, which reflects into the, um, the viewfinder, which is shooting out there. Now, if I look into that, it would blind me. I'd probably literally burn, catch my eyes on fire that hot. Uh, but the good thing is I can project it onto this white piece of uh, poster board, and then I can use this to focus, just like I was looking at it with my eye. I can get it pretty crystal clear, including being able to see the sunspots. Now over here, I have this white poster board, which is set up on a ladder. It's secured on the bottom with these clips, and then basically I have an adjustment system here um, with a lacrosse stick and a bungee. Um, but this allows me to adjust um, the angle of the board, you know, this way and that way. So on the fly, I can adjust that as I need to if I move the ladder around. And that gets it basically perpendicular um, for viewing from the viewfinder. So that's why that's like that. And then of course to track the sun, I just have to every so often rotate this on its base. It's got a rotating base. But then on the, on the other side, I have to move that ladder around to sort of catch up, which is why I have to continuously adjust um, that uh, position. So anyway, now we wait for go away clouds. All right, clouds are still there, but we're able to start to see in the bottom left a little bit of eclipsing. So that's the moon coming into view. That's pretty awesome. All right, you can see we've uh, got a little less than quarter coverage right now. So the clouds are coming and going, but we are able to see this eclipse real time and live right there in our front yard. How awesome is that? And nobody's getting blinded. Bethany, you want to show off your little finder? Oh, there we go. There, it's back. We make an adjustment here. Once every hundred years, this will cross the United States like this. Important fact, Facebook. That's right. So if you plan to live to be a hundred and whatever you are now, you may see this again. I don't know if I'll make it to a hundred and forty something. I will. All right, there we go. I don't know how far to qualify this. We're looking for 80% coverage. So this is... I'll call it probably about 45 here. Maybe three quarters of the way through the full coverage point. Maybe halfway through. All right, here we go. I'll make an adjustment here.
this might be pretty close to the most coverage we're going to see here in Maryland. Unfortunately, we're not going to get totality, but that's still pretty awesome. All right, hey there, we're uh, about as full of coverage as we're gonna see now here in Maryland. They say 80% coverage is what we're expecting. And it is kind of an eerie, cloud-covered sort of darkness, but there's no clouds, which seems cool. If I didn't know it was an eclipse, I would just think it was cloudy out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.